we'll have plenty of chance to pick up dudes in dockside bars. Don't worry, Zerf. All right. I just I don't want to miss out on any of these capable sailors. I I know that you really want to make sure that we pick up as many seamen as possible. Oh oh hey there, folks. Um, this Hi. is. This is, this is Bobo the Vulture. And I'm Zerfall. And we were just talking about Uncharted Waters, uh, New Horizons. This yeah, that's what we're talking about. This is a let's play together, even though it's a one-player game, of Uncharted Waters, New Horizons, Otto Baines' story. And we just arrived in Lisbon. Yes. And it's pretty late at night. Maybe we want to go to the public house and see if there's anybody cool hanging out there. If we get lucky we when we come out of the public house, we'll have. It'll be at 2 in the morning. Wow, this is weird because most towns, like the inn and the bar right next to each other, you're asking people to, to do a really long stumble home after... Uh... Well, they're trying to get them to stop by the bank on the way to the bar. Oh, I see. This is like how they always have ATMs at bars now. Yeah. Uh, they say it's for convenience, but... So here's... Diego Susson. He's swing. That's a nice mustache that guy's got. Ahoy there, matey. How's life on the high seas? I am Diego. I sail with the battle fleet from Portugal. <laughs> we want nothing to do with you if you don't want a new job. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much true. Do you want to work for me? Hey, would you like to join our crew for the next voyage? Sorry, but I'm not looking for a new job. I heard there aren't really any capable sailors in Tunis. Well, he didn't. Usually, if there's somebody that's really good in town, they'll tell you that. But maybe there's nobody good in town. This guy, I think this guy's a British guy. I, yeah, I feel like I've seen his portrait. Oh, no, he's Vagabond. He is a, oh, he's a Vagabond. Vega. I'm going to gossip with you, Vega. Well, a navigator called Fergundes was looking for a job in Valencia. Uh, oh, I maybe suppose... this guy would be worth grabbing. Yeah, you think we should treat him a little bit? Yeah. Maybe we can... You buying me the cafe specialty seems like we'll get along well. knack for into I mean I have a knack for intuition okay you want to work for us sounds good right oh, oh snap <laughs> you realize how many more ships and fleets I'm gonna have to sink now to make up for the money for the drinks I just <laughs> bought you yeah. like one quarter of one percent <laughs> of yeah it doesn't matter that's waste of money Gah. that's to that guy so wait a second, who's this old dude standing, like, looking in the glass cabinets behind our two lovely bar ladies here? I wish he's the he's the husband of the bartender. He just, also, unfortunately, he's lost, he's kind of got dementia. Yeah, also, how are you supposed to know which of these is the, like... Oh, yes, yeah, so you don't have to spend the... Saucy clearly barmaid. The, clearly the older you... one is the owner. And the I don't see the any top is the younger one. I mean, you know, 16-bit graphics notwithstanding, I don't see any wrinkles on either of these. <laughs> the one that wears her hair farther forward, going for the Jennifer Aniston look, I guess. All right, let's let's go to the inn. Maybe there's somebody hanging out. There's there's usually people like sitting at a table back here in the inn. No, we need a pirate. Yeah, Should there's like old. a literal like old-fashioned pirate guy. Oh, I don't know any of these guys. Alphonse. Alphonse Andale. Oh, that's a sweet hat. <laughs> what do you want with me? I am Commodore Adelaide of Portugal. I command a battle fleet. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want to merge your battle fleet? Uh, hey, would you like to join our crew for the next voyage? Sorry, but I'm not looking for a new job. I don't blame you, man. If your army provides you with a sweet head like that, I wouldn't want to move either. And here's Miguel Solis. <laughs> what do you want with me? I'm a vagabond sailor. Oh, yeah? Hey, would you like to join our crew for the next voyage? I'll work to you if you pay me 40 gold pieces per month. 
Try yeah. saying no to him once. Maybe we get to say, 30. Let's, 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 let's huddle on this one. I, I feel like... Now, I've had this backfire on me where a guy said he would work for me if I paid him <laughs> and 40. And he's like, I'll work for you if you pay me 60, bitch. <laughs> they just... I get it. I insulted him the first time. But, uh, let's, let's see. Well, I'll work for you if you pay me 30 gold pieces per month. I just want out of this place. Yeah. 30 is probably a good place to settle. Some yep. will accept 20, but I don't know. I you feel like most of the people that accept 20 just want you to pay them more as soon as... Yeah. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's take it. Okay, it's a deal, Commodore. Hmm. So we got a new crew for me and you. Now, what about Alonzo Orida? He's Orida. Oh, what do you want with me? I'm a vagabond sailor. You want to join my crew for the next voyage? I'll work for you if you pay me 20 gold pieces a month, daddy. I'll take them. Oh, yeah. TCB, baby. It's a deal, Commodore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's bedtime for this sailor, daddy. Right. We all of a sudden we got a whole bunch of new crew. This is He wants he wants a little less conversation and a little more napping. <laughs> Did you know that uh the that that the last two of Elvis's private jets that were uh, that are on display in Graceland are for sale? What? Yeah. Oh, who's a private jet? Like Oh no, is 2.30 too late? Is it going to be closed? I'm not sure if uh, if the half an hour counts. I don't know. I feel like... No, it's not longer. It certainly is going to count if I keep running is. around like this. Oh, good. Whew. I mean, we're getting some, some last minute deals here. Yeah. These are really special items. I'm sure I'll find something I like to... A rapier! Oh, it's C. Our current sword is a D. Yeah, it's used only for thrusting. Well, it is an improvement. Yeah. Ain't much a one. No, and we know by the description that thrusting will be our best bet. I suppose that's true. You, you think it's worth? You think it's worth the investment? Well, I think we can sell our other sword, too, once we equip it. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Will you put it on? Oh, yeah, put it on. All right, I'm interested in anything else. Um, I suppose a telescope would help us. Would that help us find uh, wonders and towns and stuff? Or? I can't remember how telescopes work. I think you um. look through the smaller end. And then the larger end, like that projects light or something. I don't, I don't really know. Considering well, I don't know, I probably shouldn't invest in it. Yeah, I thought that maybe it uh, it actually lets you look a screen over or something. Oh, but maybe that, I'm thinking of the the uh, binoculars. Uh, 500 gold pieces. I have to imagine that would be the price I'd get for it anyways. Anywhere, but still. Yeah, I can't remember if you say no to them if they ever offer you any more. You can give it a try. Yeah! Whoa. Yeah! Alright. I'm not going to go into, like, an excessive... <laughs> Min-maxing fight save, for this. Save yeah, we'll to make get... sure you get the maximum money. What else can you sell me? I'll sell you this metal, this letter of Mark that I got from Henry VIII. No, that's probably not a good idea. All right. Well, that turned out to be relatively profitable. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. So I guess we should probably. I guess what do we do now? Except just troll for more fleets. Pretty that... much. Yeah. We gotta. We gotta try to make more money. Money is the key to this game. Money is the key to keeping our army rolling. What? What a tool! Uh, the thing is, is that what we could do is keep them on board for one month, and the first time we use them to sell a ship to the shipyard, we just ship him out afterwards. How do we convince him to stay? 
we give him 10 more gold a month. Mm. So the thing is, is if we keep him on board. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll make up that 10 gold a month if we just catch one extra ship. If we ship. catch one ship a month, he will earn more than keep. more than make he will earn his keep in just us being able to steer a boat home yeah all right although apparently we should be trying to save up for a bastard sword according to the literate scholar oh then you're gonna give me a raise oh that's right i got a tcb you know i could do my karate on any of those guys if we try and get into a <laughs> duel situation uh hoy there midi we'll be shoving off um, let's supply. Let's supply all. We're gonna load up some water. Boy, they may really be shoving off. Yeah, let's sail. So, the decision we have to make is, do we want to try the more exciting route of trying to find ships to fight and fighting them? Mm -hmm. Or do we want to, for our first voyage, go down the Nile and just get a bunch of cheap, easy, um, discoveries? To build up our, uh, our purse a little bit. You know, if we were going to do that... Uh, we'd have you to wanna... get rid of all the crew, though. Because, like, honestly, the way to go up the Nile is with a small rinky-dink ship that doesn't take a lot of crew and doesn't require a lot of food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why I wish we hadn't had to give up the Simpleton. The Simpleton would be a perfect boat for exploring the Nile. I mean... We could have put all these other ones in the dry dock. Yeah, we could have put them in the dry dock. Um, um, uh, but, uh, yeah. I guess we can start sailing in that direction. We'll probably find Spanish ships in the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. As easily as we would. In, hybrid uh, program. Yeah. Oh, hybrid program, yeah. Oh man, if we get these boats running on electricity, oh, we'd be made in the shade. They're pretty green already. That's true, wind power. Hey, who are you and what are you doing? Who's your daddy and what does he do? Oh man, you're one of us. <laughs> they're so apparently going to Seville. They're not mad at all about the fact that we just uh, stole their boat and then destroyed their... He might have been chasing somebody, considering he just went there and was hanging out outside. Oh crud, I think my guys are starting to starve. Oh no, it's oh, just, no. It's just, just poor, poor wind. wind. Conditions. Oh, who's that? Who's that girl? Yes! yes! These are the kinds of guys we need to take it's out. The Spanish cowboy. <laughs> we can get rid of this caballero. Or, is that what they are? Uh, I forget the Spanish word for cowboys. It's a Spanish cowboy. We just need to take him out. We need to be like Spanish Lubu. Attack some Spanish cowboys. <laughs> All right. So they're headed toward the east. Oh, they're going fast. We can't miss them. We're going to have to head down wise. They are close enough to attack right now. Yeah. Um, if you wait, it's... Not really risky, but if you wait till they move over one more, we'll be more in the middle of their hitbox. So we'll be like in the same like area. We won't have to like chase them down, which yeah. might be hard because we're in a big ship. Mm -hmm. Yep. There you go. Oh, well, we're closer than we were. Yeah, and, and they're going to be able chance. to outrun us now. So, and we don't want the sun to go down before we try to attack. Or don't else, let or the sun go down. Alright, let's try and take these guys out. Let's make the sun go down on them. Oh, man. Stop your ship or we'll attack. Meanwhile... Oh. oh? Why should we listen to you? Alright. So you're expanding your realm of voices immensely here. Alright, where is he? There he is in the middle. He's there in the middle. So... Our order should be to tell them to rush that guy. Orders all? Well, you can do the individual individuals since you just have one. Orders to which ship? Randy! 
All right, Randy. And Is then that... instead of delegate, we're going to tell him specifically to go, go after, after the like mothership. Ship. Yes. All right. Wait, did I just cancel out of giving him orders? I don't think so. I think that it's... Yeah, no, that's, that's good. It yeah, you just have to... Ship. Now I should move, yeah. Yep. Can we catch up? Not quite. So I would go next to ship six, but just not attack them on the right hand side of it. On the right, yeah, I was wondering which side, yeah. Let's go up. Oh no. Can't really aim my cannons anywhere. Nope. Other than I could like. No, soften. you don't want to break the ships too bad. You want to. That's want to true. Those ships and I don't want to. So I don't really need to soften those guys up. No. Oh, we never did replenish our crew from this. Uh, we could have at least stolen them from the other ship. Oh, you're oh. right. <laughs> that ship just got d destroyed. Oh, no! We totally didn't check how many crew we had. Oh, at least we, we gotta try to destroy this. So if you go up one more, you're blocking his way a little bit. You might be able to keep him from yeah. running away. No duels. Just die. Alright, I think we got him here. Yep. Yep. There we go. <laughs> he knew it was coming. He decided just to end it quickly. That's the spirit. Auto Baines completely destroyed the Spanish fleet. You guys are toast. Toast. It's delicious. All right, 4,600 gold pieces from them scurvy dogs. Seven enemy ships. We can add two more. We also have a Carrack. No. I think they order them in the order of best to worst ship. Of how good they are. Although this brigantine, that'd be a great ship to send down the... Yeah, we're not going down that way. I know, I know. <laughs> um, get them now. Wait a minute. The now has a crew capacity of 80. Mm -hmm. And a sturdiness of 50. Why do I feel like the brigand... Not the brigantine. The, um... Carrick is a hardier ship. I'll tell you what I'm doing. What's that? I'm trying to look at... Facts? Ship list. See which ship is the best. I remember that I liked using nows when... whenever I would, like, try and do one of the traitor sort of... Uh, not, the, not the guys who betray their country, like Catalina. Um... But, like, the people who trade things back and forth, like, uh, Ali. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. Well, it looks like, according to this list, I have a list of the purchase prices, not the selling prices. Okay. Um, the Karak gives us 40000 is what it costs to build one. Okay. The now is 30000 Okay. So, so we should probably get a Carrick and a Now. Yes. Sounds like. So let's take this. Let's name the ship. Let's name it Loot. Because we're not going to hang on to it. Yes. We're going to have one more. Let's go yeah. ahead and add that one. It's got a full complement of crew. Let's name it. So apparently only so much of the crew is willing to come on board with you and the rest all jump in the water. I see. They're like, look, I am so dedicated to this mercantile mission that we have here. I will would rather die than see it go to ruin. Now, the first thing we should do is load up on sugar. Do, 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 do. Oh, honey, honey. Alright, so, yeah, we can load up on sugar on the loot, too. Um, 
No, I think if you just press left or or the left trigger, it maxes out that number for you. Oh, okay. Alright, so let's get out of here. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well, if you press that left, that'll work. Okay, so that many. Let's load up with that much. 397 left. Let's fill up with 397 food. Maybe short of food here. Let's fill up with as much food as we can. Alright. Might as well throw a little bit of water in there. Yeah, let's let's wet our whistles. Um, Alright, we're completely full up. Look at that. Nice. And there's still it's... items left in the unloading area. There's so much loot. You dumbass, what are you doing? <laughs> it is okay to end the transfer process. Help. S-O-S. Alright. Um... Oh, crud. Um, we may need to... I think you need to put more guys on your navigation. Yeah. I may need to transfer crew. Oh. Wow. You're actually not doing too bad if you look at the movement speed. I think it's just the way the wind's going. It might be better off running back and going to the place across the water from uh, Spain. We could pull up the wind wind charts. Who are you? It's gonna be the juiciest target and we can't do anything about it. No no it's Portuguese. That guy's still dancing around outside Seville trying to catch somebody. Commodore, we are going to stop in Suta. Hey, way to go, Alonzo. Your navigation and leadership and your knowledge and your the ability to name the state capitals, it all went up. Montpelier, Vermont. Bismarck, <laughs> South Dakota. <laughs> right. Yeah, I always thought school was easier in Canada. Well, you know, I don't feel too bad for, like, Americans having to remember 50 state capitals. I mean, it could be worse. Chinese have, like, what, like 4,000 years of history to remember. Forget that. <laughs> 200 years is too much as it is. Well, do you know what? I actually had it the easiest of all. I went to a, well, I went to a French school for a while. Um, I suppose the French, learning French part was harder, but the, um, the, the math, they use a 24 hour clock in Quebec. Oh yeah, 24 so, military time. So when you're doing, when you're learning math, it's like, okay, let's learn measurement. Everything's decimal because we use the metric system. Uh... Hey, let's learn time. Oh, 24 hour clock? It's super easy to add up. You just stop at 24. Yeah. Uh, you know, where I first came across the concept of 24 hour time slash military time, it's weird that this is where I remember it from because I actually grew up in a military family. Uh, the, the vulture father or the G father, whatever you want to call it, uh, was, uh, was an army aviator. But where I first encountered this was in the car that we used to have when I was little. Mm -hmm. We had a Peugeot, um, which is a French car that like no one in America has. But the clock in that like always told time in 24 hours. So I would look at it and it's like, it's 1930, what does that mean? <laughs> Because by 1930, when I'm a little kid, it's, it's also starting to get late, so I'm, you know... Just <laughs> You're getting... confused and disoriented. Yeah. What's going on? The numbers don't make sense. Hey, I didn't notice that the guys who run the trade shop are elves. Yeah, well, they, they collect the goods and turn them into toys for good girls and boys. Well, we're about to sell them sugar, too, so he's, like, going to make all kinds of, like, candies and stuff. Pixie sticks! Yeah! <laughs> the laziest candy! Let's pour sugar in, too! <laughs> yes! I get the feeling that you're a newcomer to the trade business. I can give you a pointer tour if you'd like. Sure, why not? You're wise to listen. Here are a few things you should always remember. The cardinal rule of trading is to buy low and sell high. You want to make a big profit, of course. 
I have a few tricks up my sleeve when it comes to trading, so you're gonna get a really crappy deal. Uh, <laughs> first, find out the specialty of the area. Specialty goods are produced in high volume, so they're usually cheap. Although you're a greenhorn, play it cool and say no! The first uh, price uh, presented to you by us merchants. Uh, sorry, I'm tripping over my lines. Uh, maybe I'll offer you a lower price. That means a bigger profit! Step four is profit, see? Finally, don't fill up your hole with goods if you don't have enough food and water on board. Smart traders always restock food and water as soon as they dock at the harbor. This way, they don't have to worry about it when they're trained. There's nothing more foolish than throwing away goods you just bought to make room to load food and water. I hope these tips will help you. Don't forget to keep your eyes and ears open in town. Some of the people you meet on the street may be experts in trade. So this is really one old man that's in every single town. Yes. Well, I know we don't have any room in the hole, but I'm going to buy goods. If you don't have a tax-free permit, you must pay 20% tax in addition to the price. Whoa, that's a terrible tax. What are you looking forward to that? Okay, good. He doesn't have a local specialty. I was concerned that we were going to, like, blow in here and, like, he was going to, like, Hey, welcome to Sugar Town. We make and sell all the sugar in the world. <laughs> what do you got to sell me? Here is sugar. Uh, you throw it in the pile. I'll give you two cents. Yeah. Which shit? Uh, the loot to... 50? That's a good market rate. Now, how much is in here? So we should sell the one with more first because they'll oh, yeah. lower the price. Yep. After so we tell them we're not accepting their price. How many lots of sugar will you sell? Wait, he didn't give me a market rate. Well, he'll ask you in a minute. Nope. Apparently, that's only for buying. Oh yeah, it is only for buying. All right. But we oh, did cause fine. the uh, economy to crash a little bit here. Oh yeah. All right. So nine, eight, seven, one, two, three. They'll recover. Oh man, <laughs> look at all the money we've got now. Yeah, we can go get a bastard sword. That's actually probably what we should do next. Wait, where's the super cool armor? Is that in Spain? Isn't uh, there like the, the best? The FAQ has nothing about super cool armor. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I thought there was like the uh, like a quality suit of armor was like a 2 a.m. item in like Seville or Barcelona or someplace. Well, I'm doing a quick search for armor, but unfortunately, sure. yeah, they know. sell it wrong. They spell it wrong. Oh, they spell it armor. I'm sorry. That's the right way. That's the right way. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean to. Uh, oh, I, this guy doesn't want to tell me anything about armor. I didn't mean to raise any hackles. <laughs> All right, we don't have any goods to sell anymore. No. Let's get out of here. And it's a nice shiny day. Let's get in here. Oh, I forgot about this. There's actually a website called UnchartedWatersNewHorizons.com where some person that was obsessed with the game made like a fan club and like put all the information you'd ever need. <laughs> oh, how many? They even have a forum where they just talk about this game. Although the last time someone used it was way back in November of 2014. What? They were still kind of active. How many men will you sell? How many men you're gonna sign to my ship, baby? None. Taking all those guys. Sorry. Oh man. Okay, the Crusader armor is a star-based armor, and it is. Oh, do you know what? Copenhagen has a star-based armor called Errol's Plate. Errol's Plate? Yeah, like. Like the guy from Zelda, his, his one of his descendants. Yeah. So we took. So, so wait, where was that? Sorry, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Oh, we're not gonna be mad at Copenhagen. We'll be able to like float up there. There probably won't be a lot of Spaniards out that way. No. But we can do that. But while we're up there, we can probably grab that. Uh, we'll grab the bastard claymore. Sword. We can be, yeah, we got the bastard sword or the claymore or any of that good stuff. All right, so let's go to Shipville and sell off these boats. Come on down to Shipsville. <laughs> yes. Um, do you want to be this old guy, or should we? He don't know much about ships, eh? Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> this old sea dog's navigated the waters for over 40 years. I can give you some advice. 
What do you say, mate? Thumbs up. All right, then. First of all, ye must decide whether to build a new ship or buy a used ship. A new ship will be custom built to you, please ye. <laughs> the model, its materials, equipment, and everything will be just as ye demand. I am a pretty demanding customer, I must say. So if it pleases me, then it pleases she and he and every one of we. But building a vessel is a expensive and time-consuming task. Well, that's why I don't do it. Although ye may not find the ideal vessel, ye may want to opt to buy a used ship. They're less expensive and ready to use, and the, the miles on this one are quite low. Yes. This one we just got from a rental fleet, and they don't get a whole lot of business out here, so it's a really good buy. <laughs> this ship was only sailed to church by an old lady. <laughs> Either way, with your own ship, he'll be a true limey. Hey, is that some sort of knock about me being British? I'll fucking cut you. <laughs> but to get back to the story, the model of the ship determines its capacity. Ships that hold a large crew and many guns will have limited cargo space. If you want a vast hull to carry many goods, keep minimum space for crew and guns. Remember these things when you buy a ship. Good luck! Good luck! <laughs> Alright, let's... I'm kind of curious as to what they have uh, for sale here. Oh, you don't have a mate that could... Mm -hmm. Apparently I'm... he offers discounts for trade-ins. <laughs> I think I'll just sell these. Which one is for sale? They're like, drag your, drag your ship in. Pull it up <laughs> from the bottom of the ocean. We don't care how you get it here. We'll buy it. Yes. We don't care if it's sailing. Just bring it in. All right. Is this ship okay? Yeah, it's an okay ship. It's pretty good. Does it still have a bunch of cargo? I think it still has... Oh, it still has food. food and water on it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, actually, let me, let me... You're going to min-max our money here and... Yeah, let me get, get the food, food out of it. Got to go to box. That's good thinking. <laughs> All right, how much? Dang it, come on, cargo info. No, I think you went to info instead of... Oh, and I can't do anything in cargo info. All right. No. It shows you the exact same info if you want to load and unload stuff, but... Oh, we got 99 food. And we have barely any water in either of these boats. Yes. These guys are going to, like, completely drown. Like, not drown. The opposite <laughs> of drowning. <laughs> Uh, yeah, sorry, we're gonna have to... Wait, can we sell that food? I don't think you can sell food. No, yeah, well... Yeah, alright, so there's items... Someone's gonna find a great surprise. They're gonna come into this place to buy a ship, and they're gonna be like, Oh man, there's like 200, 290 food just sitting there! Is this... No, some I, guy just left that, you can I, have it! I was about uh, to say, awesome. for Ernst, that would be like... A half a year's supply of food for him <laughs> and his crew of like, 10 guys. Yeah. All right, so let's get over here and try and sell these ships. This is getting to be a long video. Which At one least it was one single? full of all kinds of action. Makes I mean, up for yeah. the uh, earlier ones. This ship okay? Yeah. Say no. No. As you uh, wish. That's hoping you have a little more. Yeah, okay. Apparently yeah. that's all that's going to happen, so... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's totes for sale, man. Not bad. So we're up to six ingots now, maybe seven, depending on. Yeah. If I'm that not getting rid of Cruiser over. Randy. How dare you say that? Why would you even imply that? Yeah, they're beautiful, beautiful galleons. Actually, I suppose I could get rid of Randy. Hmm. 
I don't know. It was a, uh, We're going to have to replace it eventually with the same sort of ship. How's that? Well, not have to, but... Oh, do you know what? We could put him in the dry dock, though. Well, because it's a good fighting ship, so we don't want to... That's true. As we get fighting bigger and bigger fleets, we're going to want other ships not necessarily to be... They're not normally the most effective in fighting the guy you want them to, but they get in the way of the other ships and keep them all from just piling up on you. Yeah. All right. But... You know, these are these are all things I think to to consider next time because I think we probably we've run our course for this individual video. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, actually, and it's a good question. If we are gonna start dry docking ships, do we want to start dry docking them out here, or do we want to like? <laughs> yeah, maybe... we might want to put them further away from Spain. Yeah, do we want to like <laughs> find a different base of operations? Yeah, whether this it isn't be like uh, London isn't like or like a future game where you're like, oh no, I'm gonna put my ship away, and then when I go to a different port, it, it gets there. Yeah, it's 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 not like that. It's not push pull or tow your ship in. Yeah. <laughs> um. But I guess, yeah, so probably next time what we're going to do is make a bold voyage back sheepishly to the, you know, uh, North Atlantic. I've <laughs> lost all my words there. That was a really, <laughs> that was a totally petered out um, outro well, for this. And while we're there, we might be able to check London and see if the king has a new, you know, quest for us. That'd be good. Or we could check in with um, uh, Gottfried, Sir Gottfried there, and see whether or not he's got some. Uh, or no, Sir Gilbert. <laughs> I was thinking of Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Sir Gilbert. How are you? I named your ship the Simpleton because you're so fucking stupid. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, look forward to that next time, folks. But until then, this is Bobo the Vulture. And I'm Zerfall. And this has been Let's Play Together, even though it is a one-player game, Uncharted Waters New Horizons Otto Baines' story. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Bye now.